Good morning students. Today we are going to learn about introduction to macroeconomics. Macroeconomics is very much about tying together facts and theories. Said by Don Bush, Fisher and Stats. Introduction. Economics is classified into two branches, namely microeconomics and macroeconomics. Ragnar Frisch, a Norwegian economist, coined these words micro and macro. In the year 1933, micro means small and macro means large. Next, John Maynard Keynes, in his book, The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money, published in the year 1936. Keynes offered an explanation for fallout from Great Depression. That's why he was called as father of modern macroeconomics. Meaning of macroeconomics The word macro is derived from the Greek word macros, meaning large. Hence, macroeconomics is a study of the economy as a whole. It deals with the aggregates such as national income, employment and output, inflation, poverty, etc. Macroeconomics is also known as income theory. Next, importance of macroeconomics. There is a need to understand the functioning of an economy at the aggregate level. It helps to solve the basic problems prevailing in an economy. Understanding the future problems and challenges of an economy and to find the precautionary measures. Macroeconomics provides ample opportunities to use scientific investigation to understand the reality. Macroeconomics helps to make meaningful comparison and analysis of economic indicators. Macroeconomics helps for better prediction about future and to formulate a suitable policy to avoid the economic crisis. These are all the importance of macroeconomics. Next, scope, scope of macroeconomics. The study of macroeconomics has wide scope and it covers the major areas such as national income, inflation, business cycle, poverty and unemployment, economic growth and economic policy. If we take national income, it is a measure of the national income and its composition by the sectors, by three sectors or basic aspects of this macroeconomic analysis. If you take inflation, it refers to the steady increase in a general price level. Business cycle, almost all the economists face this problem of business fluctuations and business cycle. So during this crisis, it helps macroeconomic economic health. Poverty and unemployment, the major problems of most resource rich nations are poverty and unemployment. This is one of the economic paradoxes. So in this matter also for a macroeconomic helps. Economic growth, the growth and the development of an economy and factors determining them could be understood only through the macroeconomic analysis. Next one is economic policy. Macroeconomics is significant for evaluating suitable economic policy. Next heading is limitation. So when we see this limitation, many of this uh, macroeconomic suffers from certain limitations too. There is a danger of excessive generalization of, a, of the economy as a whole. It assumes homogeneity among the individual units. Third one, there is a policy of composition, that is what is good for good of an individual need not be good for the nation and vice versa. Last but not least, the fourth point is 
Many non-economic factors determine economic activity, but they do not find place in usual macroeconomics books. So this is about the introduction of macroeconomics, a short and quick review. First we saw about the introduction, meaning and then importance of macroeconomics, scope of economics and then finally we, we learned the limitations of macroeconomics. So I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you.